there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. Today I'm back to reacting to Diana Ankudinova and her performance of Personal Jesus. I'm really curious about this one, so let's have a listen. <laughs> Personal Jesus hmm. Someone to hear your prayers Someone who cares Woo! Your own Personal Jesus <laughs> Someone to hear your prayers Someone who stands I'm always so fascinated with so much dancing in a lot of these Russian performances when I see Dimash and then of course this show it's a singing show but there's all these dancers and these all this choreography it's multi-dimensional American TV sh singing shows they just stand there and sing they don't have this whole set but it's kind of got this creepy vibe. It's really interesting. And of course, I grew up back in the day where it was communist and they weren't, no one was supposed to talk about religion. But I think there's been a lot of reforms. So I don't know if that has something personal meaning for her or, but anyway, it's, it's pretty cool. Yo! Oh my gosh, this is like so rock, you know? I don't really see, I mean, I've never heard her like really rock out. Like it's like, uh. Now, the other thing is that she's really, you know, having some space and a lot of pauses and just the way her presence is in the song, it's really different. Cause I've seen her sing very sweetly and like, hi, but this one, she's like in that moment and it's a bit, like I said, it's a little bit dark. It's almost like there's darkness. And then she is in this midst of someone who cares. It's a pretty interesting arrangement. Touch, 
interesting and I just I'm such a fan of her and now that she's a grown-up woman I think she's totally coming into her own because this song had a lot of focus because normally she sings from her heart for some of the earlier videos but this is was a bit more staged obviously with all the dancers but her focus was really different she was just like really kind of intense and kept that intensity up. You know, she was, I can't imitate her. Of course, my voice is completely different. She's got that rich chocolatey, chocolate velvet, chocolate caramel voice. So creamy and rich. And she's just a really skilled singer. She's got a huge range. She can do what she wants. But this is the first song that I can recall. I mean, I might be wrong, that had a bit more of that rocker edge. And not that she was like rocking out because she's got this very elegant presence. She has this, she's very stately, she's gorgeous. And she's got that deep depth, she's got a lot of depth. But in her performance, even with the song being kind of rock-ish, she still kept this like really cool presence. And still bringing in someone who cares, someone you can share. I don't remember when I first heard this song and I'll have to kind of look it up after this. And of course the dancing, there's so much dancing and it actually adds to kind of the drama and the flame and it's like rock, it's almost like, but it wasn't like rock, rock, you know, like, you know, that stuff. It was more intense, there's this intensity, but, in her body, her body was still. She had that intensity, but there's a stillness and a focus what she's saying. Lots of motion going around her, but you know, still, which is was really powerful, that really powerful intensity. Of course, I barely know Russian. <laughs> I spasibo, I just know little words. Oh, uh, um so I can't really listen to the Russian without translations, but I wish I could because I think she's a fabulous singer and one of a kind. She's got a one of a kind voice. She just is 18. So exciting to see what she does next. But I think she's ready for prime time. I don't know what she's going to do or where she's going to go, but she doesn't need anything. She's ready to go. Awesome voice. So if you love Diana Ankudinova, or is it Ankudinova? Ankudinova. Ankudinova. It's still hard for me. <laughs> so let me know for sure, because I'm still messing it up. Make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you are notified with all of my Diana reactions. And I also want to let you know, on Facebook, I have two free passion projects. The first is... YouTube success strategies where I'm coaching people on how to be successful on YouTube because it's not only about making great content, it's also about things on the backside that get you found in the search and get people to click on your videos. And the other thing is creative soul alignment. And that's a group for people that are interested in creativity and spirituality because that's what I really see with her, Diana. She is very, very magical, very mystical. She has that goddess energy or that Siberian shaman energy. And I love her stillness in this, stillness but intensity. So here's the deal, we are all creative, back to the creative soul alignment, it's for people that like creativity and spirituality. And so we are all here to create right now. We need to create a world that works for all of us without creepy overlords trying to kill us off and, <laughs> and trying to take over the world without our agreement because we're here to create a world that works for everybody and that shaman mysticism that's where we need to go back to anyway i don't want to ramble hope to see you next time let me know in the comments below what other diana songs i should react to and i'll see you next time bye